Good morning all, the degree trees and delegate present here. Now, I am Inakshi Sharma, Assistant Professor, ITS College of Pharmacy, along with my co-host, Dr. Radha Goyal. Welcome our first eminent speaker of the day, five on online FDP on drug engineering challenges and innovation. Sponsored by AICT, Atal Academy. Dr. Shekha Verma is working as a professor and principal at Pandit Deen Dayal Upadhyay Memorial Health Sciences and Ayush University of Chhattisgarh, India. He is graduate of Guru Hansi Das University, Bilaspur, Chhattisgarh, postgraduate from B.R. Mahata College of Pharmacy, Mansour, MP, and done his PhD from Guru Bhansi Das Central University, Bilaspur. He has vast experience of academic, administrative, and research. Under his research domain, he is actively involved in research in field of novel and controlled drug delivery system, non-aqueous dispersion for poorly aqueous soluble drugs, herbal nutraceuticals. He has published his research paper, research work in many national and international journals having high impact factor. He has also presented his research paper in international conferences at Dubai, Bangkok, Thailand and Malaysia. He is a member of editorial board in different national and international journals. He is also nominee of committee for the purpose of control and supervision of experiment on animal new value. Has been, he has been awarded Best Young Teacher Award by Premier Pharmacy Publication Company, Nirali Publication, New Delhi. He is also life member of professional bodies like APTI, IPA, ICS. He is a chairman of Board of Studies, Pandit D. Dayal, Memorial Health Sciences and Ayush University of Chhattisgarh, Raipur. He is a member of Task Force constituted by State Planning Commission, Chhattisgarh, Government, uh, Government Raipur. He is also associated with the different research and funding agencies such as Ayush Research Department, ICMR, AICT, DST and INSC. His major area of interest is noble drug delivery system and nutraceutical and he loves to teach different subjects offered by the Department of Pharmaceuticals. Sir, we feel honored and privileged to have you at this online knowledge sharing plot platform. Welcome, sir. Thank you, madam. Thank you very much. Uh, am I audible? Yes, sir. You are audible. Okay. Uh, thank you very much for my brief introduction. And uh, it's my pleasure to uh, have a, be a part of this uh, AICT Atal uh, Faculty Development Program. And uh, I think it is the last day since uh, four days. Uh, yes, uh, you did a commendable job. Uh, I uh, saw the few and uh, witness of the few lectures and really the, the discussion was a uh, fruitful. And definitely today I will also try to deliver the, some uh, uh, novel drug designing their opportunity, opportunities and challenges <laughs> and hopeful it will be helpful not only for the student but also for the research scholars and uh, our new uh, enthusiastic faculty members of all around the corners of the India. So shall I share the screen or you will share? Yes, yes sir. You can share. Okay.
I think, is it visible? Is it visible to everyone? Yes, sir, it's visible. Sir. Okay. <laughs> So I think your name is Minakshi, madam. Yes. Minakshi, madam, shall I start? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Again, the AICT, Atal, and uh, the most important, the the IFS College of Pharmacy, Ghaziabad, giving me opportunity to share my view, my vision about the designing and the development of some new drug technology, new drug carrier, and the obviously the new innovation in the field of the health sector for the benefits of the uh, social, uh, social community and uh, for the development of the socio-economic condition of the nation. Today, I will try to explore about the design and development of surfactant-based non-aqueous carrier system for delivery of <coughs> poorly aqueous soluble drugs. And actually, uh, if you, see the, the middle portion of the slide the front title slide that is a yellowish color that is showing the the nutshell of the complete title uh, you can see there is there are two structure of the dispersion system one is a normal uh, uh, emulsion and second one is anhydrous emulsion and uh, you can see the difference between these two structure and that is a presence of the water in the normal emulsion we have a water and anhydrous emulsion we don't have water and you can see the polyols it is a, actually the core mechanism of the whole uh, the non aqueous carrier system for the delivery of poorly aqueous soluble drug uh, for, okay uh, uh, from, from your permission i dr shekhar Varma, moving to the my first slide okay <clears throat> now why need to discuss about this uh, non aqueous carrier system for the delivery of poorly aqueous soluble drugs what is happening nowadays around 60 to 60 percent new chemical entities or new drugs are poorly water soluble or poorly aqueous soluble in another term we can say it is a hydrophobic for those kind of the major percentage of the hydrophobic drug that is around 60 to 65 percent it is very difficult to select the suitable carrier system for the 100 percent efficacy <laughs> what should be our target our target should be our entrapped drug or our inca encapsulated drug should be directly reached to our targeted cell or infected part of the our physiological system but due to the the hydrophobic nature of the drug due to the poor aqua solubility of drug it is very difficult to set the suitable carrier system for those type of those type of drug these non aqueous carrier system is a miracle it is a magic we can deliver we can entrap we can easily deliver those type of the drug for the better efficacy for the better bioavailability I have taken example for those non aqueous type of uh, delivery system, non aqueous type of carrier system that is a emulsion, uh, that non aqueous emulsion or non aqueous micro emulsion. In my in upcoming slides, in next slide, I have denoted this non aqueous carrier system as a non aqueous emulsion or non aqueous micro emulsion. <laughs> Before uh, understand uh, about this uh, non aqueous carrier system first we have to uh, uh, we, we we are very well know about the, our primary dispersion system that is emulsion our conventional dispersion system so before understand the whole theory mechanism and the principle of the non aqueous carrier system first we have to understand the core rational about the our conventional emulsion what says emulsion <laughs> emulsion is a basically a mixture of the two immiscible phases where this is stabilized with the some external agent known as emulsifying agent or nowadays the people or students or uh, the, our researchers are using in place of the uh, emulsifying agent that stabilized the stabilize, stabilize means they are trying to uh, avoid the separation between the two phases like water and water 
and the what happened in the case of the emulsion in the emulsion we have two different phases that is oil and water based on the these two phases there are two types of emulsion conventionally or traditionally initially initially in our uh, preliminary semester of the graduation period our teacher taught uh, there are two types of emulsion water in oil and oil in water but uh, water is a not a mandatory in emulsion definition is not saying the water is a mandatory okay that says you have two immiscible phases that should be stabilized with the emulsifying agent it is a complete definition but definition in, is not saying never said the water is a mandatory for the emulsion but what happened the most of the people <coughs> thinks the water is a mandatory for this kind of the emulsion or even the micro emulsion or the sub micron or multiple or nano emulsion in this kind of the emulsion or this kind of the uh, carrier system there should be two immiscible phases there should, should be two phases so what happened in the non aqueous uh, carrier system i tried to replace these water with the any other another solvent or polyols is it okay i think all participant and faculty members yes sir uh, i am reaching properly yes sir yes sir okay good okay. uh minakshi madam if you you feel any interruptment uh, due to the some technical issues like voice or anything please tell me yes sir yes sir sure sir. okay thank you so uh, the topic is the why need to discuss about as i already told you to entrapment and the delivering of the water poorly aqueous soluble drug or water insoluble drug or water unstable drug or water sensitive drug so uh, i told you about the what conventional emulsion emulsion contains the water phase and uh, we are trying me and my research group have uh, extremely did hard work and uh, try to replace this water with the polyols polyols means like glycol like glycerin <coughs> or some kind of the organic solvent because the definition says there should be two immiscible phases definition not said what is a mandatory they said two miscible therefore we have mixed the oil with the glycerin we have mixed the oil with the glycerol we have oil uh, we have mixed uh, our oil with the any kind of the solvent this is a two phases then still stabilized with the surfactant this is a purpose for the explore to explore the new non aqueous carrier system for the poorly aqueous soluble drug we have a lot of uh, new entities uh, that is the hydrophobic nature it is a very uh, poor performance of the natural synthetic drug like, like traditional drug we have uh, any all nsids drug like uh, salicylic acid phenylbutazone indomethacin ibuprofen cimetidine ketoconazole these are the poorly aqueous soluble drug and it is very difficult to make preparation of this kind of drug in in a emulsion micro emulsion sub micron or multiple emulsion because these kind of the preparation we have one phase is water if your drug is water sensitive drug to how you can interact in your those type of system where water is a presence it is a basic uh, question is basic principle suppose you have two phases oil in water in stabilized with the traditional emulsifying agent like acacia and uh, put your uh water poorly uh, water insoluble dry, uh, drug like endomethacin or ketoconazole that is um, the antifungal drug what happen this uh, drug is uh, only present in the one single phase in your oil phase it will not reach us to the your water phase due to the uh, uh, instability in uh, the water okay now the second point the emulsion can be formulated without a aqueous phase to produce anhydrous non aqueous or oil in oil micro emulsion such system which can replace conventional emulsion where the presence of water to be avoided i already told you we can use the term non aqueous carrier system for the non aqueous carrier system non aqueous micro emulsion or non aqueous emulsion or non aqueous nano emulsion we can also use the anhydrous term in place of the non aqueous non aqueous means without the water anhydrous means without the water or we we can use the oil in oil oil in oil we can use that uh, one phase oil in other phase poly uh, uh, then organic solvent and the non aqueous carrier system have attracted great deal 
of attack attention not only because of their importance in the industrial application but also their intrinsic interest there are a lot of uh, physical uh, rheological parameters that influences the or enhancing the bioavailability of the drug that enhancing the solubility of the drugs improving the the, the, the re uh, release rate into the your physiological system from the medicament <laughs> it is a uh, now the delivery of uh, as i told you the poorly equisoluble drugs has been subjected of the much research because the approximately 60 percent new chemical entities are hydrophobic in nature to overcome this last two point is very important to see see all the dear participants the last point to overcome these various problem in a conventional emulsion the water free liquid preparation for number of drugs would be desirable see the term see the, uh, the, the there are two word uh, three word the water free liquid preparations your preparation should be water free what will happen when you will choose the water free preparation you can entrap the your poorly water soluble drug because your drug is easily soluble in organic solvent your drug is easily soluble in oil your drug is easily soluble in polyol but your drug is not easily soluble in water for those type of drug you require the water free liquid preparation that is non aqueous carrier system that is non aqueous emulsion that is non aqueous micro emulsion or non aqueous nano emulsion why we are, i am using the micro and nano we are grooming we are improving from the traditional emulsion to micro emulsion micro emulsion to nano emulsion to reduce the size if you reduce the size definitely the surface area will be increased when the surface area will be increased definitely you uh, the bioavailability bioavailability will be improved it is a fundamental concept uh, to improve the bioavailability solubility that reaches the easily into the systemic circulation you have to reduce the size size and how we can reduce size we can reduce size during the method of preparation the selection of method that should uniformly reduce the, your globule size vesicle size or droplet size for the better biology isn't it am i okay uh, am i okay yes sir yes sir. okay uh, uh, how many participants Menakshi? It is around 66. Yes, now the 66, 66 all are, 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 are okay. I think these participants from the all corners of the India. Yes, sir. Okay, good, good. You are doing a good job. Uh, during this pandemic definitely uh, to uh, produce this type of academic activities do uh, among the uh, participant uh, like students and faculty is very uh, commendable job because uh, the during this pandemic uh, when uh, off classes and the, the physical interactions are prohibited so these uh, the social platform uh, uh, like zoom google meet uh, microsoft team and uh, your webex so these are uh, did a good job and uh, the, these uh, technologies help us to interact with each other. We are uh, able to sharing our views and uh, hope uh, all the candidate and the participant are listening properly, listening carefully about the new kind of the carrier system. It will be definitely helpful for your not only for the carrier but for your grooming of the knowledge because the purpose and the objective of faculty development program is not only know the technical aspect of your subject matter but you have also improved the your learning ability your teaching ability you how you can maintain the discipline how uh, we can maintain the professionalism at the educationist level as well as the, uh, in the scientific level it is that these are all points are the the, the core objective uh, to be a part of the faculty developer program and uh, teaching learning process obviously it will throughout the it, sh it should be the throughout the life for the 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 grooming of your uh, the 
core nature for giving grooming of your professionalism okay the rational rational means the basic countries the basic concept <laughs> the basic uh, concept of uh, these non aqueous carrier system or non aqueous and hydrous micromation emulsion uh, in my title i wrote the based on the surfactant actually why i have written these the based on the surfactant because the complete phenomena <coughs> complete phenomena of the non aqueous micro emulsion or emulsion nano any type of the non anhydrous carrier system completely based upon the activity of the surfactant <laughs> why because this surfactant is act as a stabilizing agent they they are they are internally involved in the uh, the me uh, mechanism of the two phases uh, two phases of the system and try to stabilize it for the extended period it means for the <laughs> better bioavailability in, in in our conventional system we have used we have used emulsifying agent but that is a very uh, the very uh, very in a small extent in a small uh, for the small time period they stabilize the agent uh, after some time uh, they again the your system separated that's why that's why we uh, shake the our uh, uh, pharmaceutical preparation before the use in emulsion in suspension because they again uh, sedimented or separated that should be stabilized for the extended period that's therefore in uh, these non echo carrier system we use <coughs> surfactant not only surfactant but the combination of surfactant we uh, for the better stability we uh, mixed uh, the various kind of the surfactant uh, like uh, cationic anionic anionic cationic or amphoteric non ionic to make uh, the the stable mixture of the surfactant and there uh, we combined the, their head portion and tail portion for the better stability of the your system that's why i uh, there are two points I try to understand two points listen please carefully there are two basic strategies <laughs> could be considered when searching for a stable non aqueous carrier system emulsion and micro emulsion number one is number one to design surfactant have to incompatible blocks incompatible blocks means whether it will uh, uh, compatible with uh, your uh, oil portion or your another uh, portion like uh, your poly also is organic solvent each of which selectively soluble in either of the immiscible liquid obviously uh, if your surfactant is easily uh, incorporated to into the two phases then it will stabilize the system and the other approach is the second approach is to search for a suitable oil immiscible polar liquid that can substantially replace water using emulsifier okay emulsifier excuse me okay <laughs> now the second uh, uh, strategy is uh, uh, or we can say then another new concept of the non aqueous based emulsion or micro emulsion also allows the delivery of water sensitive drugs in a conventional cream lotion and gels or we can say it this uh, theory this principle of the non aqueous uh, or anhydrous carrier system is also suitable to prepare the cosmetic preparations because we can uh, make the cream we can make the lotion and the gels it is a versatile definitely there is a versatile uh, preparation this anhydrous uh, preparations because not we can use it for the industrial or bulk level but also we can use it for the delivery of the vast variety of the uh, water unstable drug we can use the cosmetic preparation in form of the cream lotion and gels and the and these technologies based on the polyols in oil emulsion that is stabilized by different type of surfactant combination of surfactant and surfactant precursors that is a co surfactant as i told you earlier 
isn't it okay now i am moving to my one uh, another slide uh, i think uh, it will be about the advantages of the uh, uh, system uh, which uh, we are discussing uh, the most of the uh, speakers or most of the research and teachers are uh, put this advantages slide advantages slide at the end of the presentation but i think it should be in the beginning of the presentation uh, then what will be the result when uh, we discuss the advantages definitely you uh, you will your Im uh, impact or uh, impact of interest would be more i think it is my perception i hope uh, you will enjoy it after this primary objective um i don't think uh, we need to more uh, talk about this primary objective because i have already told you the primary aim to design and develop a stable non aqueous carrier system exploring the possibility of using such system as a non aqueous or anhydrous vehicle for the control release uh then the unfortunately many drugs uh, are not soluble in water while other water solution of it may have an unpleasant taste some drugs are either unstable in the presence of water or insoluble in water and therefore cannot be incorporated into the aqueous formulation to overcome these various problems a uh, water free liquid <laughs> preparation of a number of drugs could be desirable number of non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs and others the most simple others no not only the nsa ESD, but other drugs also like and if uh, apart from this endomethacin ibuprofen phenylbutone similarly we can use it uh, no, for the delivering of the drug this is a primary objective now advantages of the non aqueous micro emulsions or advantages of the anhydrous emulsion the term non aqueous means without the water we can use the synonyms of this non aqueous is anhydrous term or we can use uh, and we can answer not or and we can use micro emulsion or we can use it this principle into the nano emulsion also in or in the or into the your traditional emulsion like water in oil or oil in water you had you you can the replace your water with the various types of the and that kind of the solvent system which is easily available <laughs> Now, what are the advantages? The non aqueous or anhydrous micro emulsion is suitable for the poorly aqueous soluble drugs and the thermodynamically stable multi component fluids composed of the polar solvent, oil, and a mixture of surfactant. Avoidance of phase separation, it is a most important point because the, the, the major problem in our traditional system is the phase separation. Increased drug load, loading capacity carrying capacity of the bore lipophilic and the hydrophilic drug. it is the most important if this kind of system is capable to carry both kind of drug either that will be the lipophilic or that will be the <coughs> hydrophilic it is the most or we can even we can also carry we can also interrupt the hub extracts herbal extracts it is the best suitable no need to go for the phytosome we can use it in the your non ecosystem the protection against intestinal protease okay it is a one more advantages increases the bioavailability drug i already told you and the non aqueous system the micro emulsions delivery system can <laughs> improve the efficacy of the drug allowing total dose to be reduced and thus minimizing side effect because of the thermodynamic stability non aqueous micro emulsions are easy prepare and require to significant energy contribution during the preparation now you can see this after the <laughs> advantages part you can see the, the three th three pictures of, uh, to understand about the non aqueous micro emulsion or emulsion system uh, in a first one you can see the the yellow uh, the, the, there is a head and tail portion in the system where is one is water present inside the your uh, vesicle middle of the vesicle in another this water replaced with the polyols and the second one method to enhance the bioavailability of the poorly L eco soluble drug a poorly soluble drug we have a variety of method to improve the solubility and still we are using into in our laboratory our research scholar is still performing the solubility enhancement technique like solid dispersion like cyclodextrin method non equal micro suspension co solvent cell salt formation 
and the various method like a self emulsifying drug delivery system liposome these are the methods to enhance the bioavailability of the poorly soluble drugs why i am showing and why i am uh, saying about uh, these method because these non aqueous uh, or anhydrous micro emulsion or nano emulsion is uh, one of the method to enhance the bioavailability of the poorly aqueous soluble drug it is very common you can see a lot of method you have already used it during your postgraduate program or doctorate program to how to enhance the bioavailability and solid dispersion is a very common and very popular method cyclodextrin again that is that was a, a very uh, uh, favorite method self emulsifying the drug delivery used a lot of uh, the pharmaceutical people among them among them what 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 i am what 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 i am trying to say the among them the these uh, our uh, system which i am trying to ex uh, this explore you and discussing about the fruitful uh, manner of the carrier system non aqueous carrier system it is also the most important <coughs> one method and the pharmaceutical carrier the lower one it is a very common slide i think i put it in from your the, the common book the vaccine corner nk gen okay next one uh, again about the interface of the pure liquid uh, i will uh, discuss these uh, uh, terminology the interfacial tension uh, surface tension versus surface concentration interface of pure liquid uh, when i will uh, uh, discuss uh, about the surfactant and co-surfactant then I'll, I, will, I will explore the mechanism of this uh, interface theory of interface but this picture is very important now the requirement how we can prepare the uh, uh, i talked a lot of i talked about a lot of uh, uh, mechanism principle of the non aqueous carrier system i talked the advantages part their application part but uh, how we can prepare it? is it uh, feasible because when we uh, talk about the any kind of the carrier novel carrier system the most important thing your your preparation should be feasible into the laboratory your preparation should be economic it should be reaches into the it should be reaches to the common people it should be it should be treated to the common disease also not only the cancer it should treat the common disease also because still we are fighting with the malaria it's a very unfortunate after centuries still we are fighting with the malaria someone is uh, unmute the voice kindly please minakshi tell them please mute um, i feel some disturb kindly mute kindly mute yourself please thank you now the the question is how we will prepare it kaise hum banayenge how we will prepare it because if your uh, preparation is very fruitful your preparation is scientifically very fruitful if your preparation is uh, able to carry the lipophilic as well as the hydrophilic drug lot of advantages of your preparation then your preparation should be also easy and it is very fortunate for the all the scientific community for all the pharmaceutical community for the scientists and the research scholars for the academic uh, researchers the preparation method of the non aqueous or anhydrous carrier system like anhydrous micro emulsion or anhydrous emulsion or anhydrous non emulsion very easy only there are three requirements one is surfactant on and combination of surfactant to get the better stability of your preparation <laughs> number 2 polar solvent or polyols to re polyols to replace the water what is a polyols polyols means uh, that contains the more than two oh group like glycerol or glycerin okay we can replace the, this uh, viscous glycerol or glycerol or glycerin with the water and number 3 number 3 required is oil okay number 3 requirement is a uh, oil so only these three requirements to prepare the anhydrous carrier system which will carry your water unstable water sensitive and poor your what poorly water soluble drug only three how you can prepare c there are i put the images a and b in a image you can see oil plus water <clears throat> plus surfactant 
in b image is oil plus polyvinyl plus surfactant the difference is difference is from the beginning of the my presentation from beginning of the my first slide i am saying oh to replace the water to replace the water to replace the water and you can see uh, i have replaced the water with the polyols and what happened in uh, in your uh, in uh, where oil is, or water is present the micro emulsion is vacuous phase spontaneous preparation in in your picture b images b nano emulsion is the anhydrous phase mechanical shear required <laughs> sometimes what happen when you will mix your water with the oil in the presence of the surfactant provide the agitation or without the providing agitation in a normal shaking you will get the preparation known as a spontaneous preparation this happened in the case of the traditional micro emulsion or traditional emulsion system but in the case of the uh, nano emulsion or micro emulsion with the anhydrous phase without water phase you have to put the mechanical stirring you have you require the mechanical shear mechanical shear rate because more risk due to the more viscosity due to the more rheological property it is it will be not spontaneously prepare not automatically prepare i hope uh, you understand okay next it is what would i like to say i am saying is the preparation method of these types of the carry system very easy very comfortable feasible in your simple laboratory you have to use only few primary equipments like uh, in the initial level you can use the mechanical stir to get the better uniform size and the fine uh, droplet or particle we can use the sonicator either you can use the bath sonicator or probe sonicator you can for the again the better 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 the size reduction for the better bioavailability we can use the homogenizer for the uniform so these are the instrument uh, the but uh, during the experimental study uh, um, personally i found um, the bath sonicator and the uh, homogenizer the very very good these the these equipments are very good to prepare the systems and uh, for the students uh, in in the laboratory especially in the ug level you can you can also try it into the ur ncn sir apparatus that is a, a special motor you can use special motor also but it requires a high frequency for the large time for the maximum time uh, but uh, in college level in your college laboratory we can uh, tried i already i tried in the mechanical is put uh, your preparation to the beaker all the and the keep it uh, over the surface of the mechanical stirrer start it for the, the specific period of time after some time when you will observe under the microscope you will get the fine vesicles or fine globules of the known non aqueous or anhydrous carrier system it's very easy how you will know your uh, preparation is uh, completed uh, during the observation in, in naked through naked eye we can uh, uh, not uh, observe the proper size uh, therefore we can use the simple compound microscope for, for the their shape uh, the shape and the size distribution we can use the ocular stage micrometer and for the better size analysis obviously we have high uh, number of the high resolution micro stress fridge fractures electron microscope electron microscope same time these are the uh, um, is, uh, techniques uh, where we can use their size and shape now the solubility uh, is very uh, the, the one uh, um, the table there are uh, four columns and the uh, number of rows to describe the about the solubility of endomethacin and ibuprofen the different oil and surfactant uh, it is a pre formulation study before going to get the final preparation of the non aqueous carrier system the study of the solubility i don't think to uh, study all these uh, uh, the values of the solubility but but okay we can uh, Uh, we have to know the there are number of oil we can use it uh, for the preparation of non aqueous carrier system that is <coughs> castor oil coconut oil 
sunflower oil, mineral oil, olive, sesame, soybean oil, many and many more. And the, these are the surfactant, polysorbate, and sorbitol mono. Polysorbate 40, 60, 80. Actually, polysorbate is a chemically that is a uh, 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 twin, the twin, the, the series of the twin 20, 40, 60. These are known as a polysorbate. And about the span, span 40, 20, any series that is a chemically the sorbitol mono -esterate. So these are the surfactant and the benzoline chlorides uh, surfactant precursors cetyl, cetyl pyridinium it is a precursor sorbitol mono it is a span triethanolamine uh, is a co-surfactant these are the surfactant uh, we have used uh, during the study of uh, the solubility of uh, poorly eco-soluble drug like endomethacin ibuprofen in different oil is surfactant Mm, and the one rheological properties of different oils, the effect of change shear stress on the shear rate were measured. Actually, why I am showing this slide because uh, you need to study or this point uh, also uh, to prepare uh, when you will go for the preparation of the, this kind of system because it is a pre pre formulation. In a, it is a uh, mandatory and uh, seriously you have to perform inside the lead when you will not succeed uh, in your pre formulation study or you will avoid it the any uh, minor parameter during the pre formulation study and you go for the final preparation definitely during the final stage we you will be uh, you will face the serious problem you will face the serious or, or it may be disaster it may create the, some un, un, un useful or uh, some uh, useless preparation and uh, it may create the impact of uh, your the research activity and definitely the time will be lost so, therefore you have to need i'm not uh, going to read the, all the values because it's very difficult and the, due to the lack of time this okay now one more spreadability power law analysis different okay uh, only i will uh, the, explain the spreadability of class if spreadability means uh, how your preparation will spread is spread uh, in uh, when we will use it the topically because this kind of preparation not only used for the oral uh, administration but you can also use uh, for the parental administration also use it uh, in a for the topical administration for in the case of the talk of topical administration you have to perform the spreadability study spreadability test whether your preparation is properly uniformly spread over the surface of the body it is basically uh, used during the preparation of the cosmetic preparation or we can use it when you will put your antifungal drug or uh, anti-inflammatory your for the topical surface okay now the experimental design uh, shall I uh, take a 30 second break to take the water? Yes, sir. Sure, sir. Please. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank
present investigation means the uh, discussion about today's theme how to design surfactant based non aqueous carrier system and what is attempt is made to what is what will what is our aim aim is to achieve the emulsifying agent of several surfactant to get the non aqueous micro emulsion system or non aqueous carrier system so therefore i put the experimental design word the meaning of the experimental design is there is there are various steps uh, uh, everyone should uh, use to get the final preparation of the non aqueous uh, system like uh, in study of the emulsifying effect of your surfactant it means you have to check the your surfactant whether it is uh, emulsified or not whether it is emulsified your system obviously you are these are uh, your surfactant or your co surfactant or mixture of surfactant or combination of surfactant or your surfactant precursor i use a five term listen carefully i use a five term term and these should be emulsified your system your system is oil now we 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 not talk about the water we already replaced replaced after three slides we talk about the your oil your polyols or polyols or organic solvent it means what would be your structure your structure would be <coughs> oil plus polyols oblique organic solvent plus surfactant or variety variety of surfactant it would be your structure so then you are the my, my, what would i like to say your sur, surfactant should able have ability to emulsify your system number one number two is uh, the non aqueous carrier system or non aqueous uh, any dispersion micro emulsion or nano emulsion or traditional emulsion are greatly influenced by interfacial <coughs> properties and the rheological behavior okay it's greatly uh, uh influenced by rheological behavior behavior and the interfacial properties why rheological re behavior because uh, when you we prepare the this system obviously it will be viscous in a some extent it will be viscous and you have check you have to check about the viscosity whether it is a parenteral whether it is a topical or oral you have to check the all the rheological parameter when you go to get the final stable non aqueous delivery system you have to check about the interfacial pro property why based on the interfacial property uh, you can uh, based on the in interfacial property you will get the stable preparation and we have already crossed the limit of the traditional emulsion it means we have to uh, we have to 100% uh, uh, avoid about the any phase separation we already facing the problem na we are shaking the container it is a drawback hum chand pe pahunch gaye hain aaj bhi hum container ko shake kar rahe hain it is our failure it is our failure ab artificial intelligence ki baat kar rahe hain aur abhi bhi aap container ko shake kar rahe hain it is a shameful for the all the all the researchers why we are shaking it means we have some extent of the separation that's why we, we or some extent of the sedimentation so we have to avoid it when we, we are talking about the artificial intelligence in our health care system number of people are exploring about the, the machine learning they are talking about the deep learning everyone is trying to predict uh, uh, to combine the their uh, the chemical activity and the information technology system and predicting the uh, uh, cure of the disease how we can cure but still we are shaking the container man this is our failure shaking means some extent of the sedimentation and some extent of the phase separation we have to avoid it. these non aqueous carrier system is doing these things this system is uh stabilize for the extended time it uh, reduce the uh, or on and maintain reduce the uh, avoid the phase separation by maintaining the interfacial properties actually i am trying to say that first you have check the emulsifying effect of your surfactant with your system 
then you have to check the interfacial property then you have to check the rheological property then obviously if you are talking about the micro or nano there should be the some transmission electron microscopy or scanning electron microscopy technology to, to get the proper shape and size of the your globules or vesicles of the droplet in maximum term i have in the maximum terminology i use the four or four term four or five term only for the uh, uh, aspirants and only for the participant and candidates those are attending they are uh, they have um, taken their time precious time to attend this faculty de development program and there are uh, the, the the minor difference also in these terminal like droplet globules vesicles but all are related to your the non equos carrier system that's why i am using this term okay interfacial properties rheological we have transmission electron microscopy to get the size and shape uh, to get the size and shape that is that is used uh, we can get, uh, get this size and shape from the same and uh, and uh, how much amount of uh, drug entrapped within the our system we can uh, we know uh, for the determination or for the observation under the, when you put our sample under the transmission microscopy actually the basic difference is the time and same is the same is used to know the surface topography of the sample and the time is used to know the how much amount of drug entrapped within the your drug delivery system it means that trans transmission electron microscopy is used <coughs> to know the matrix of the system actually main ye kehna cha raha tha then drug release the stability study of the major characterization evident of non equos micro emulsion system and uh, these are the primary experimental design apart from these we have a lot of uh, parameters like zeta potential like lamellarity and many more sir. but it is very difficult to discuss the all those thing in the the one and half hour lecture okay now next slide i think uh, i have so I just across the half, uh, I will move the very fast because uh, that uh, just is, it is around 10:30, and I have to move fast now. The emulsifying effect of various uh, surfactant on the stability of system. Um, I am trying to uh, explain in the within the two systems. System one means the glycerin olive oil system, non equa system. It means poly oil is a glycerin oil. Okay, we can use any oil. It is compatible with the glycerin, and uh, put the and uh, we have to check the uh surfactant emulsify whether you are surfactant and emulsifying or not in the bottom of this slide there is emulsification it means you are uh, uh, two phases should be compatible with each other and when we are using any stabilizing agent like emulsifying or surfactant that should have property completely emulsify your <coughs> two phases in a glycerin oil system the how how, how we will conduct this experiment just uh, i am uh, reading the four lines uh, the system employed the experiment consists of equal weight of glycerin and oil with the variable concentration of surfactant the glycerin and olive oil user were ip grade listen ip grade every reasonable precaution was taken to avoid undue exposure of these reagent to the atmosphere the glycerin was heated to 180 degrees centigrade and sealed it to ensure the absence of water. There are two methods employed to check the this is emulsification method. Number one is uh, to the basonicator or prosonicator, the simple. Now, uh, these are the observation when uh, we go for to check the emulsification method uh, of our surfactant with the mixture. There are variation. Uh, I I, I think um, glycerin oil will be, I am talking about the glycerin and oil oil olive oil with the various kind of surfactant. see I will uh, just uh, uh, suppose uh, the polysorbate 60 that is twin 60 uh, the variable concentration of this surfactant 1% 0.53% and 5% what will happen when we'll put this surfactant in the you are uh, glycerin olive oil see the second second one second huh, in a column serial number two emulsification happen separation will done separation will happen in emulsification so, and uh, what would be the observation there's some preparation is opaque some is separated it means clear one is clear one is a turbid they're not showing any tank kind of the observation 
and again one more example that is a uh, suppose we talk about the last one uh, tri ethanol lamine it is also type of a surfactant uh, when you we are when we are using 1% it is showing separation the observation uh, the the mixture is opaque when we are using 0.5% of the tri ethanol lamine again separation observation is again opaque and when uh, uh, we are using 3% and 5% of triethanolomine, serial number 16. Huh? Please see the serial number 16. When we use the 3% and 5% of the triethanolomine in the mixture of the glycerin and oil, there would be emulsification. And the, uh, it is a success. Uh, emulsification, it means uh, the, the, uh, the US solution would be clear. So these are the uh, observation uh, for the mixture of the glycerin and olive oil by taking a different type of the surfactant like twin 60, span 40, ethanolamine 2, amino ethanol, sorbiton monoesterate that is spawn, sodium lauryl sulfate, benzalgonium chloride, sodium cerate, triethanolamine, and uh, cetyl pyridinium chloride. These are the surfactant and co-surfactant. Uh, various observations found uh, it is a mandatory to uh, perform this experimental study and uh, also read carefully these study in the observation to get the final and uh, uh, stable non aqueous carrier system like anhydrous micro emulsion or anhydrous nano emulsion okay uh, and there's the pictures is uh, you can see the a b c d uh, one is a comp uh, c uh, number a you can see the a uh, the upper upper images in A that is a partially separated emulsion, B the semi solid non aqueous micro emulsion, C is a clear non aqueous emulsion. Number C is completely uh, emulsification done when you use the surfactant. And uh, D is also the clear non aqueous mi micro emulsion. It means that among these five preparations, these five symbols, number C and D, C and D is a pure non aqueous carrier system like non aqueous or anhydrous micro emulsion and this, uh, the the microscopic image the tem images uh, of uh, the preparation is uh, uh, figure you can see the figure 6 one till there is uh, the transmission electron microscopic image of glycerin in olive oil it is a micron range one more uh, i i have tried to explore the one more uh, system that is a polyethylene glycol and castor oil again uh, i our research group we, we used uh, the different surfactant in different concentration in the system of the polyethylene glycol and the castor oil and found a different kind of the emulsion appearance when you used two methods this one the a see the images a is a complete set separated emulsion, B is a partially micro emulsion, C is a uh, opaque micro emulsion, D is a clear non aqueous micro emulsion, E is complete separated micro emulsion. In the, now how we can prepare it? I already told you about the preparation method, definitely the composition of the all the formulation including non aqueous system listed in, in my next slide below table means name and next slide we have i have four table drugs was first pre dissolving the polar solvent and all ingredients including uh, oil and surfactant incorporated into the polar solvent drug mixture and all other components were sonicated using a prober bar sonicator and i used the jp model 040s japan and uh, we can uh, use the bar sonicator number one image is uh, homogenizer and number three is the magnetic history uh, this is a composition i don't think to explore it the uh, you already told the rheological property how this will come forward okay uh, it, this slide is uh, for the transmission electron microscopy to get the complete knowledge about the entrapment of the drug into the your globules or particles or vesicles. I already told uh, the how what are the uses of this TEM and SEM, the differences between the TEM and SEM. It is bas basically to uh, define the size and shape uh, of your non aqueous carrier system. Uh, these are the some transmission electron microscopic image. Okay. Now about the when it in vitro drug release, it is a very very common and is mandatory uh, after the preparation of uh, your any kind of the novel system or control system. You have to go for the drug release, and 
obviously it will be the control our uh, the, the to, uh, if your uh, system is a controlled novel the release should be also controlled and uh, we have all also done these method through french diffusion cell and uh, taking by two compartments separated by the one semi permeable membrane we we have uh, uh, sterile it uh, we we uh, uh, dissolution perform the dissolution for the long time and uh, analysis the the uh, uh, dr drug uh, released and uh, entered into the continuous phase it put we have withdraw the some amount of the sample from the continuous phase and uh, uh, it is analyzed through uv spectrophotometry and uh, perform the drug release study and we found the controlled sustained drug release study i am not go going to tell about the specific time or in the specific release amount because i have already shared my slide to your fdp uh, the, your uh, teacher among the your coordinator which are uh, coordinating all these things uh, you can discuss among you can discuss among them you can ask about them my slide and uh, now the one uh, more uh, parameter the measuring of the zeta foundation to determine the surface charge and drug content of estimation now the conclusion the conclusion is the surfactant uh, plays the vital role to stabilize the non aqueous or anhydrous carrier system for controlled drug delivery water preparations are required to deliver water insoluble one water unstable in water sensitive drug. selection of novel carrier system for hydrophobic new chemical entities and the the most important thing this is a, this is a versatile application of enhanced control drug delivery system okay now i am um, uh, open i am welcoming you all please if you have any doubt if you any query please uh, ask questions or we can discuss it basically this faculty development program it is a, not a class this is a forum discussing forum where we can discuss uh, about the uh, subject matter uh, and uh, try to find out the some novel uh, the result oriented uh, discussion okay please these are all from the my side so there is no question in the chat box okay but my question is uh, that uh, any herbal surfactant we which herbal surfactant we, we can use in herbal preparation herbal surfactant in herbal uh, preparations yes uh, actually uh, in these kind of this uh, system definitely we can entrap the hydrophilic drug as well as the lipophilic drug and we can also put the our extract inside this system and uh, i have used many surfactant i have used many surfactant you can see the my table in column uh, your question is a herbal surfactant uh, i don't know more about these herbal surfactant but i think that some pharmacognosy people uh, talk about the some saponin compound containing compound they, they may use as a herbal surfactant sir one more question is could you elucidate method employed for them as liquid samples are generated generally not used in temp uh, actually uh, i am i will clarify your question i think your question should be i, I maybe i am wrong maybe i am wrong actually if uh, your sample is liquid we can perform temp we can perform temp but we can not perform temp why because the scanning electron micro scopy is generating very high amount of energy that is around 80 kilo electronic volt and the principle and mechanism of scanning microscope is only they study the surface topography of the sample it means the surface structure of the sample then what will happen when we uh, put our sample under the scan electron microscopy they will generate around 80 kilo electron old energy and your sample will be dry that's why liquid we cannot use a liquid uh, liquid preparation for the same analysis but we can use this uh, liquid preparation for the TAM analysis because in the TAM, when, we'll when you study about the mechanism of TAM, your the electron beam is transferred from your 
uh, sample or your globule or vesicle, what will happen? They analyze the how much amount of drug entrapped within the your sample, or they analyze the structure of the matrix, internal matrix. So I think your question uh, is just uh, opposite. This, we cannot perform the same analysis of liquid, but we can perform the time of liquid. So one more question is there. Yes, sure, sure, welcome. From doc, uh, from Dr. Raji. How is okay. data potential studies done using non aqueous emulsion as the mobility may be different? No, no, actually, uh, actually we are using the, the major component. My, my title already wrote the surfactant based technology. So, based on the surfactant, they have ionic, cationic, non ionic, amphoteric. We can perform in the, the, the viscosity. Uh, I, your uh, subject matter is not concerned in this case, in this system. Okay, next. Uh, one more question, sir, from the same Dr. Raji. Extremely high vacuum needs to be created in both SEM and TEM. Sir. Any, yep. any um, part, part, pardon, ma'am? Comments. Extremely pardon? high vacuum, extremely high vacuum needs to be created in both SEM and TEM. Yes. Uh, yeah, actually, uh, the, the 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 function of the both the TEM and SEM is different, as I already told you. One is uh, to analyze the surface study, and one is TEM. But uh, I think uh, uh, SEM creates a more vacuum. I, I I'm I'm, I'm uh, unable to uh, explore about the answer because because it is very difficult when we go for the physics of the instrument that it will be clarified. Rajivji, uh, I, I we will discuss later about this vacuum. Your, uh, it is a, not a question. It is a, the matter of the discussion. And when we will talk about the vacuum, there are a lot of principle and physics is behind this. But question is good. Rajivji, we will discuss later. Thank you, sir. Uh, next question is there. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Vinakshu, madam. Thank you, all the organizer, you, ITS sir. college, ITS college, Praveen, especially Praveen, sir, everyone. Uh, we have worked, we have studied uh, during the our PG and uh, Praveen sir did very uh, well in laboratory they, during their post graduation study in uh, M farm. They done uh, good uh, work uh, in uh, terms of I mean talk about the novel drug delivery and content delivery and uh, thank you very much uh, all the uh, organizer uh, inviting me uh, and uh, I'm very happy to share my scientific view among you people. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you sir. Thank, thank you sir. sir. Thank you, thank you.